I'm Greg, welcome to 3D Make It. Today I'm going to show you what I do to my 3D printers when I get them to make them a little more tolerable and a lot more usable. Let's get started. So you've got your brand new Ender and now it's time to tweak it and add a little pizzazz and make it your own. So up first, springs. These are a lot heavier springs than the stock springs. It's a simple upgrade to an Ender or any 3D printer. It'll keep your bed, uh, it'll keep it nice and true. Uh, the stock springs on the Ender or a lot of the printers are a lot weaker. You can also get the blue ones. I just happen to have the stiff yellow ones. All right, so let's get these springs changed. Um, obviously, you'll have to re-level your bed after you change these springs out. So let's We'll take out the first spring and you can see the size difference and the quality is quite different. So we'll swap these out and This is for the uh, cable management. We're going to slide this on with the, the new spring in the back corner here. Okay, the back one's a little tricky once you add the uh, cable management on, but uh, once you get it in, it's not so bad. Okay, so we have our springs on. Now our height isn't right, so we're gonna have to readjust everything. So we'll have to tighten all these up and do another bed level, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. And uh, it'll hold our level much better with these new springs because these old ones you can see are just not very, very, good springs all right up next feet another simple upgrade uh, to a printer to improve your print quality is legs so I have some 3d make it dog hair sorry about that some 3d make it legs uh, and then I've got some dollar store, you can put squash balls, um, but I'm cheap, so I go to the dollar store and I get these little tiny uh, balls and you just push them in and there you go. So this will reduce uh, any weird vibration that might be uh, 
translated into your print. If you have more than one printer on the same table, it'll help dampen that and uh, get you going. So um, again, I'll have the all the models I have in the show notes, but uh, that's the second upgrade I'd recommend after your springs is get some decent feet. Uh, you don't have to use these ones, but you, any feet that uh, give you a little more cushion and whatnot of uh, and dampen some vibration are uh, in my mind a must. So that's the next uh, little add-on that I do to a, a printer when I first get it. All right, so we're going to get the leg installed. Um, I'm only putting, I'm short on T-nuts, so I'm only going to put two in. It seems to uh, be pretty secure if I stagger it. So, well, that's what I'm doing. So I've just started the T-nuts. I'm going to make sure that our logo is forward. I'm going to put those in place. And... I don't know if we can get the flip on camera, but you want to make sure that the T-nut flips 90 degrees when you're tightening it down. There it goes. Just there, it flipped. And we'll do the other one. Slide it up. The other thing um, it does putting these up is you get ventilation on the Ender 3 Pro. The fan to cool it is on the bottom. And so if there we go, nice and secure. So if you prop it up, you, your cooling is, uh, oh, it's horrible. But the cooling is right here, so uh, if you prop it up, you get better airflow to your electronics. And then we'll install the fancy, fancy foot, and uh, we'll do the rest. Now, quiet power supply. Okay, the next upgrade we'll do is we will take off the power supply and we will put this nice new upgraded fan on. So we'll take that off. And we'll... We're not going to disconnect any of the wires because we're just going to upgrade this. So I will get reset up with a nice closer view and we'll get things installed. It's all put back together, the new big silent power supply. So <clears throat> we will <clears throat> put it in place and tighten up the screws.
can't forget the cable management. All right, we'll get this other cable management in. All right, so here is uh, the finished up upgrades and mods that I did today. We've got the uh, two cable chains. We've got the new feet. And we've got the new quiet cooling system and now I introduce to you the Knight Industries 2000 Ender 3 Pro kit Well, if you made it this far, thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, and see you next time.